In this video, we study about a new topic in the chapter of relations and functions. We have already covered what are relations, what are functions, the types of relations, the types of functions, composition and inverse of functions. And in the line, now we have a new topic which is named as binary operations. And I also have written a definition for you of what is a binary operation. Let's get started by a brief understanding and then some examples and theoretical approach to the same. Let's read what is the definition. A binary operation star, it is read as star or asterisk sign on the set A is a function. And what is the function like? The function is from A to A is denoted by A star B. Now, a binary operation means it has binary word and the word binary will always be derived from by which means to. Remember we had binomial, trinomial in algebra 2 in our junior classes. So that is the same thing. An operation is the one which is applied on few operands to get a result. Now what do we mean by operation? Let's see. Suppose I have A and B as two numbers. Now these two numbers are known as operands because we need to apply operation on these. So these are called as operands. And what is an operation? Operation can be anything like plus, minus, divide, multiply. These all are called as what? Operations. So, in a binary operation what will happen? We will have only two elements or two operands and we will apply some operation on these such as plus, minus, multiply or divide. Now the question arises that 2 plus 3 gives me 5, 2 multiplied by 3 gives me 6. Is that all about binary operation or do we have something extra to it? Because the definition does not seem to be such simple that you just add, multiply, divide and the story gets finished. The definition has something related to set, the definition has something related to function. So it has something more, a more wider dimension to it. So let's now see how to relate a new property called as closure property to binary operations. Now what do we mean by this word closure property? The closure property will tell me what all things or what all operations are closed on real numbers or natural numbers and so on. Now still some of you might not have got the actual concept. So for those people we are going to study this in much more detail. Let's get started with what is closure property and how do we relate it to binary operation. Now suppose I am talking about real numbers. So when talking about real numbers I have say two operands A and B and these are both real. Now we have to see what about which property? Closure property. So we must now check whether addition is closed on R. Is addition closed on R? What do you mean by closed on R? That means if I have two different numbers which are already real, is the operation that I am going to apply give me a real number? Yes. A and B when added will always give me real numbers. So the addition operation is closed on R. This is how we say. What will we say? We say addition is closed on R. Why? Because two real numbers when added together give me a real number. Now if I have to check division operation division operation and the condition is given to me that I have A and B which are natural numbers. Right? 
so it can be written as a and b belongs to natural numbers if you have the knowledge of belongs to by this time now a and b are two natural numbers i have to check whether the division operation is closed on natural number why we have to check closed because we are studying closure property right so let me see this with the help of an example if i have a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 2 a is equal to 4 b is equal to 2 what is a upon b it is 4 upon 2 which is only 2 and does 2 belong to natural numbers yes it does but what if the story is something different what if a is 2 and b is 4 now what is a upon b a upon b is 1 upon 2 Now is one upon two a natural number? No, one upon two is not a natural number. It does not belong to the set of natural numbers. That means the division operation cannot be closed on natural numbers. So division is not closed on natural numbers. Now, how is this closure property related to binary operation? the closure property is very much significant to the study of binary operation because these things will tell me whether a binary operation exists or not i would say division is not a binary operation on natural numbers similarly i can say division is not closed on natural numbers that means a thing which is not closed signifies it is not a binary operation but the same division operation is closed and is a binary operation on the set of real numbers because 1 upon 2 will give me 0.5 which is a real number so any operation that you take would depend on the fact that what class or what set of numbers are you taking if you are taking integers if you are taking real numbers if you are taking natural numbers the story becomes quite different So in this video we saw what is a binary operation and we also saw that binary means two so we are going to take up only two operands at a time that is say a and b and the operations may be many say plus multiply divide or uh, multiply divide or subtraction one thing is for sure that the closure property is very much related to the study of binary operations